Hey folks, Simolytics here. So you might remember that speed run from last week where I clocked in about six minutes and 38 seconds uh, from start to completion with implementing AEP on my website. This is a basic implementation. This doesn't include any sort of bells and whistles. Well, turns out I forgot a very, very small step. So for those who care, that invalidates my speed run. I forgot to add a service to my data stream. So what we're going to do today is we're going to redo that speed run and honestly, hopefully beat the time from, uh, from last week. And this time I'm not going to go through all the detail. I'm just going to rush right through it. If you want the detail, during the speed run, please watch my last video. I did make a comment on there uh, saying what I had left out. Um, but for those who want to challenge my time and those who actually care about this sort of stuff, well, let's, let's start. Let's start this speed run. So uh, if you remember from last time, I start on the home screen so we're going to start there and I will start our timer. Ready, set, go. All right, let's create our schema. It's our first step. I'm still gonna talk through this a little bit while I wait for stuff to load. We're gonna create an experience event schema and we are going to add a set of field groups Let's look for Adobe Analytics. Pulls in a lot of our uh, default parameters. Add field groups. Speed run schema. All right, pulled it in. Now we're just going to wait for the option to save. save this schema and our next set is going to be creating a data set going a little slow today it's a Tuesday so pretty popular all right our data set we're going to create it from a schema and let's look up our speed run schema click on next I'll call it speed run data set finish after our data set we're going to do the data stream now this is where I messed up last time since I'm thinking about it I don't think we're going to screw this one up Speed run, save. Now let's add our service. And the service is going to be AEP. Oh, we have to select the data set. And let's select our speed run data set. Click save. All right. Now that we have this stuff created, we can go into data collection tags or Adobe launch. Speed run. Let's look for the speed run. And what we'll do is we'll add our extension, which is the web SDK. All right. And what we'll do is add all of our sandboxes. quirk with uh, selecting from a drop down as it will sometimes default to a different uh, data set. We're going to call this XDM data element. Uh, this is redundant. Doesn't name doesn't really matter. 
unless you care about naming conventions, which I highly recommend reading my post on launch naming conventions. We're not adhering to those today. So let's go to the publishing flow. I have to add the library to uh, speed run library. Save and build. Oh, we'll see speed run library one. Okay. While that builds, I'm going to go into the rules and add an event. We're going to make a thing happen on DOM ready. We're going to call this DOM ready. And under actions, we're going to select web SDK and send event. The type of event is going to be just our page view. And the XDM schema is the XDM data element. Keep changes. Select a working library. Always select a working library. It makes things a lot faster. All right, so we're building this library and waiting for us to push this right into production. Prove and publish to production. Now, I'm not working with multiple tabs here. Um, otherwise, right now, I'd probably be in CJA creating our data view. But we're going to wait for this to finish so we can ensure that a server call is being deployed to XDM. Boom, there it is with the right config ID. You can actually go back to data streams and look at the configuration ID to ensure that it matches. Uh, but for now, let's go to CJA. And we are going to create our connections and our data view. So let's create our connection. Uh, there's already a speed run connection in here, but I'm going to create a brand new one. Speed run connection one. That rhymes. And average number of daily events, of course, less than a million. Let's add our data set, which will be our speed run data set. Check. Next. All right, data source type, web data. And we're going to check these boxes for backfilling and importing new data at that data set. Oh, person ID. We're going to use marketing cloud ID. Sure. Save. Now let's go to data views. We're going to create a new data view for the speed run. We're going to use our connection one. Uh, speed run view one, just in case that's already, there's something already named that. So save and continue. And let's just add everything. Save and continue. And save and finish. Boom. Let's go to workspace. Create new workspace. Blank workspace just to make sure we have speed run view one. Boom. All right, there it is. And I don't have to add this stuff here. I'm going to stop the timer right here. And there you have it. All right, so our final time was a little over seven minutes. Now, it's a tiny bit slower than the last time, but I think I spent a bit more time on loading screens than I did in my initial speed run. Um, either way, this time I've checked all my boxes and added the necessary AEP service. So I appreciate you watching our uh, latest speed run. And the next one that I'm going to create is Speed to Insight. So look forward to that uh, because analytics is actually something that is incredibly accessible and should be in the hands of marketers. And I would love to see more marketers and more business facing uh, roles focused on leveraging data to make substantive decisions. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, and keep an eye out for our next video. Thanks.